Welcome to a new video by DJ SPRC, and we're back with the Project Cherokee. And this video is brought to you by Great Hobbies. The link will be in the description in the bottom, but www.greathobbies.com. All for your Great Hobbies needs. Continuing with the bill, uh, basically we did this, this step, the last video here. I did not do step eight yet. What I'm going to do is build these links here. Then I'll go back to this step, be able to do everything in one shot uh, instead of doing part of it and then jumping back here to the links. If you want to follow the book by eight, then nine, ten, and so on and so on, go ahead. If you do it the way you want it to, uh, basically I prefer doing it this way here. And even sometimes what I'll even do is basically I'll build all the links in one shot and be able to do all the rest in basically again one shot. If you want to do it that way, go ahead. Just follow your book, what it tells you, or skip to the next video if you want to follow the bill, Project Cherokee. Now I'm just going to pop the ball links and the ball ends. Put this here. <clears throat> Put that guy here. Now grabbing our book again, there's two that are going to be the same. It's going to be these guys here. They go here. This is for the lower link, and these guys are alive. We'll need four straight ones. We'll grab our screw. Grab one loose driver. Screw these guys in. Again, like I said in the previous videos, if you're not sure the size of the bolt or the link you need, Axial, one of the things I do love about their manuals is they show you a screw on the side here, grab your screw, it's going to be the same, same size. That way, if you're not sure, will this work with this, with this one or guessing game? You don't need to, they tell you. Or if you want to grab a caliper, they tell you by the arrows what should be the measurement. If you're not sure which link you're grabbing in it. Even for the ball ends, what they show you, it's the same size. There's not a lot of manufacturers out there, they do it that way. They just basically show you, this is this, how many screws of uh, eight by eight, let's say, or uh, how many washers you have, bearings, and now you're looking at a bag of screws and guessing. What I did before starting the bill is I went with, through the manual and I put everything that needs to be done for the steps I'm showing all together in a Ziploc bag. Basically, like this is 10. In the bag, it's written F. Bag 10F would be this guy right here. For some reason, if I need to stop to do the bill to do go something else, uh, when I need to come back, I don't have a bunch of screws on my desk. And for you, you people out there that has cats and dogs that love to climb on your desk or something like that and next thing you know you can find your screws everywhere they all stay in the bag and when you need to retrace your steps it's super easy <laughs> they're almost straight let's turn these guys a bit I grab the correct uh, driver, it'll even be better. 
need to do a 180 on this guy. There's the first one. There we go. Put this guy straight. And you don't want to go super tight to try to do like five more turns. Once it's linked in the vehicle itself, it will never remove move itself. Now this step is done. Let's jump on this step here. <clears throat> Grab our ends. Screw this guy in. Bring this one in a little bit more than usual. I do apologize if this gets boring. There's a lot of steps when you're building a vehicle that gets a little bit boring sometimes. But even then, it's the joy of building a vehicle. Now, when you're gonna do this step here, they do say that in the book, note direction of link ends. There is a reason why the book will tell you this guy needs to be facing this way and this guy needs to be facing on its side. I'll try to keep this guy always straight or horizontal. And try to turn this guy here. Bring to the book. Try to bring the best that I can. Now I know this guy is a little bit too more tight. Oh, I think I got it. By the boom. Cool. There we go. Now we have all our links done. And I just noticed I did a boo-boo. This is what you need to pay attention when you are doing your links. These guys goes on the smaller one right here. Looking at it here, the link is the same size, but I have an incorrect end. This is the correct size here. Now if I put this guy here, Basically, it's longer. That's one what's on the book itself. Very, very, very important to pay attention when you're doing your links. At least it's not something super hard to change up. And that's one of the reason we don't put Loctite on these guys. Now, confirm the link. This is the smaller one. It goes with these guys here, the bent ones. Come on. Now, errors like this, it will happen during the build. That's even a guarantee. Like they say, measure twice, cut once. And this one is already pretty much banged on. Look at the top link here. Oh, we can turn a bit more. OK. 
Okay, if we go here. No, I need still need to turn it. Flat. Perfect. Perfect. This guy's done. Let's do our boo boo here. An easy fix. Make sure these guys are equal. And we're done here. Now, basically, where we need to step here and install our lower links and an upper link and our string rod. But we'll go back to step eight. We're going to grab our front. Bring back these guys here. Insert this guy. Okay. Bring your screw in. Here you'll need basically there is um, two set of links that goes here. You'll have one straight. The other one is the uh, the bar. Confirm, yes, they are the same link. Grab our two mil. these guys in and this on one side should look like grab one of our shorter screws sometimes my see if my links they don't align I'll use a smaller driver to make sure everything aligns Screw this guy in. Now physically, once the servo is in, we'll have steering. And again, not paying attention. <clears throat> Wrong screw here. Now grabbing the bar that goes right here. Screw in your link. Now your front is done. Now we'll go jump to step 11 now we'll be able to put our two lower links and our top link our two bottom links go where the physical shock mount are and you'll see sometimes they are tricky to put in I don't know if you're noticing right now I'm having issues sometimes these plastic here, the way they're molded, they are tight. I just try to separate them. There we go. Now 
And this is where sometimes using a driver, electric driver, it's a lot faster. Again, you don't want it to go too tight. Separate them a bit. There we go. Grab our screw. Let's put on the screw gun directly. Having multiple hands would be fun. Link is done. Make sure everything's loose. Now we're going to do our top one. On the top one, there is a direction. You want the curved part to be on top and the bent part to be straight up, straight, but on the crooked side. Uh, confirm here something. Yep. If I look at it, this is the bent one. Transfer it to the upper link. This is the way it's supposed to be. But again, let's say this part here, you notice at the end, you might have put it upside down or something. Don't worry, you can. That's something you can switch, switch around. The screw is supposed to go to side the size of the diff itself. And you go. This is your, your links installed on your front mount. On diff. On the next video, we'll show the rear ones. And don't forget, this video is brought to you by Great Hobbies. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up video. Hit the bell if you want to be notified next time I upload a video. Thank you very much.